Hello, my name is Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to input MIDI into Reaper. There are several ways you can input MIDI. You can insert a new MIDI track, you can insert a new virtual instrument, you can just uh, so, uh, start a new track and then set it up that way. And I'll show you how to do all of those. So the first one is we're going to insert a new MIDI item. So I'm going to go to the Insert menu, New MIDI Item. I click on that. It'll give you a four measure section. And you can either play with a MIDI controller with a virtual instrument, or you can double click on it and left click and drag notes into the MIDI editor. However you want to do it, it's up to you. I'm not going to go over this too much because that's out of the scope of this tutorial. Now let's say you want to have something that's an 8 bar repeat. So I'm going to double click to get a new track. I'm going to hover my mouse over the left side and left click and drag a selection for 8 bars. And we're going to go back to the insert menu and click on new MIDI item and it'll give you eight bars. To get rid of that selection, you'll, ha you'll press escape on your keyboard. But you can also loop your MIDI items because you can do it you, when you set up a new one and it'll loop it over and over again. Same thing with down here, the little indentations at the top and bottom are the start of your repeat going across. Now you want to have a virtual instrument we can insert a virtual instrument on a new track. So we're going to click Insert, Virtual Instrument on New Track. And then your plugins will show up. And it'll automatically select the instruments from the All Plugins section. I'll just pick a quick little something or other. If I can find, there it is. And then you, you're set up. And you should be able, it'll automatically record arm the track. And it'll automatically have input, monitor input and input MIDI. But on when you do that, it, it'll show all MIDI inputs as checked. But if you want your specific MIDI controller, I mean, it'll work without selecting your controller. Ooh, that was horrible. Let's not do that again. Um, but it'll insert it on there, and you can input your own MIDI controller, which is my, I have my Casio set up. So I can do it that way and choose a different tone, because that was terrible. And it'll also work. Now let's unrecord arm that track real quick and close it. Say you want to do it the longer, longer way. So you'll double click to get a new track. Go to your FX. And I'm going to select synth, which is already select. I'm going to pick that synth again. I'm going to choose a different thing. And then I'm going to close that out of the way. Now, in order to get your MIDI set up for it, you're going to right click on the record arm tr track on the track. And you're going to input MIDI, select your keyboard, and all channels. You're going to want to right click again on the record button, select monitor input. And you're also going to want to record arm it so you can actually hear it. And then you're ready to record and record your piece. stop and when that comes up you'll get a dialog box 
with your recorded MIDI into it and you're gonna select save all and it's all right there. Now I made a couple of mistakes and you can go double click on that and you'll wanna use your middle mouse wheel and scroll up so you can see your notes. And they're all in there with um, velocity and all that good stuff. But that's not going over that either in this section. That's another way to do it. I would like to do an entire series on MIDI, starting with learning how to uh, set up your MIDI controller and everything from beginning to inputting notes, editing, all of that stuff. But if there's something specific you would like to learn, please let me know in the comments below. This is basically it on inputting MIDI. There are a lot of other things that go with it, and I look forward to learning along with you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.